Hello, I'm Campbell and welcome to Wind Up. This is the first of a double header uh, tasting Aldi's uh, exquisite collection. Our Aldi reviews have been by, uh, by quite a long way, uh, interestingly, our most uh, popular reviews in Wind Up so far, uh, getting lots of hits uh, on YouTube, uh, presumably from Google. Uh, so there's clearly a lot of people interested in what Aldi are doing and, and I think they've got every reason to do so because they're doing um, a cracking job with this own label range. Uh, they're selecting uh, not just some good wines, but some very interesting grapes and made by some very interesting producers. Uh, so this actually features two of our top tips anyway. And uh, it's great to see that Aldi, for a very, very low price point, are bringing interesting and relatively unknown grapes uh, to their audience uh, in the UK. They're not sticking to the, the Sauvignon Blancs and the Pinot Grigios. They're, uh, they're, they're pushing it a little bit, which is, uh, which is fantastic. So here we've got, uh, as I say, two of our, uh, two of our top tips. Uh, on my left, your right, is Muscadet. <clears throat> Muscadet is right on the kind of western tip, whichever way that is, uh, as far as you're looking, uh, the western edge of the Loire Valley. Uh, the Great Pier, unlike most of the Loire that you'll find in the UK, is either Sauvignon Blanc or Chenin Blanc. This is uh, Melon de Bourgogne, which is Melon of Burgundy, uh, which is annoying because it's not from Burgundy, it's from, uh, from the Loire. Um, but um, if you ever see Muscadet, particularly Muscadet Sèvres, Iman, uh, Sur Lee, that's, that's a very good um, Muscadet. It's a very interesting grape and um, I like it uh, a lot. So if we give it a sniff, it's, it's very fresh. It's a young wine. This is what, 20, 2017, so pretty, uh, a pretty young wine. And that's really, really clean. That's really refreshing. Um, this would go great with anything that you might find uh, in its neighbouring Atlantic coast, shellfish, um, any other fish. It could stand up to something uh, actually quite powerful, but I think it would go um, beautiful with crab. Again, good sort of stony, stony minerality, good fruit. Uh, that's, a, that's a really, really lovely wine. It is, uh, I think it was five sixty nine or something like that. So under, under six pounds, which is absolutely superb value. And on this side we have a have a Marsan. Uh, Marsan is the grape rather than the rather than the region. Uh, Marsan's main home is in the Rhone Valley in the southeast of France, and uh, a huge fan of Marsan along with Roussan and Viognier, much more well known as a Rhone variety. Marsan's a beautiful grape, usually very, um, very honeyed, you know, really, really nice, quite sweet fruit, um, a beautiful, beautiful grape. Uh, this itself is made by Jean-Claude Mass, who uh, runs Domaine Paul Mass, which is one of the top producers in the Languedoc. So this isn't from the Rhone, this is from the Languedoc in, uh, in southwest France. And if we give it a bit of a swirl, Then it's, it's got what you'd expect from a Marsan, which is a bit of honey, some white fruits coming through there, a little, little hint of uh, vanilla. And that's, and that's exactly what's coming through um, on the palate too. It's, it is like uh, the Muscadet, it's, it's very much an entry level uh, version for that grape. It's it's nowhere near as powerful as uh, as a lot of Rhone Marsans would be, but most of them would be costing you sort of twenty pounds um, or more for good examples. Whereas again, this is five ninety nine, so this is stunning value uh, from a from a genuinely um, great world class uh, winemaker, and it's really very. It's really very lovely, very gluggable, completely different um, to the Muscadet. This is a bit drier, this is a bit sweeter, but they're both beautiful wines. We go great, uh, we go great with food. For under six pounds, it's, um, it's stunning value. Um, again, I would give these both a, certainly a nine, possibly a 10 out of 10 on the WES score. 
um, possibly just a nine because there are you can find better examples of uh, of both of these types of wine out there. But actually, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a ten because if I if I would expect to buy this, I would expect to pay nearly double uh, the price uh, of what we uh, what we actually did buy them for. Another fantastic result from Aldi. So again, you know, two thumbs up for two great wines. If you see these two, if you're an Aldi, get them off the shelf. If it's something you've never tried before, give them a whirl. They are really, really good introductions to both Muscadet and Melon de Bourgogne as a grape and to uh, Marsan from the Languedoc region. Um, you can't go wrong with these. It's, uh, it's definitely something worth a go. And uh, even if you're not an Aldi, if you see a Muscadet or anything with Marsan in it, then uh, if you've never tried it, then pick that off the shelves too. But if you're in Aldi or you fancy something a bit different and there's an Aldi nearby, pick these up because they are great. Cheers.